I don't think we found the film canister, but we definitely just found an underground bunker. What is good, Cray Gang? Today we're out here, we're gonna be doing a lot of stuff, but one thing we're gonna be doing is installing the new electric fence box. This thing will zap you, okay? If you, if you get hit by this, you're probably gonna die, okay? So, anyway, the next thing we gotta do is figure out how to get Steve out from under the old grand dam. Now, I've told you this in one of the last videos. I put him in his thing every night. Basically, every time I walk outside, I have to go put him in there. And I just put him in there like an hour ago, and then I look under here, and guess who's here? It's Steven. Get under there, get out of there, Steven. Go, Steven. Steve, Steven, we gotta go. Steven! Come here! Steve! Steve! Come here! Steve! Steve! I don't know what to do to him. RPG. You ain't getting away from me, buddy. Come on, Steve. Come on, Steve. Steve! <laughs> what are you doing? Just come out from under... Just get out of the car! What is he doing? Just walk out from under the car and you'll be okay! <laughs> what are you doing? See? It's a hot thing. I wasn't even pulling on You kind of shot him with a rocket, though. No. Come on now, Steve. Don't be a weirdo. Be good boy. Not for you to rev up your chicken. Probably zap them, dude. That's a big one. Is That's it? the biggest one I can find. 75 mile fence. We're about to upgrade this a big time. Right now, it's not really that powerful. Come on now, Steven. You'd think you'd learn after 60 times, but you don't. He looks like another peanut. He is. It's his middle name, actually. Steve Peanut Wander. See, he does good while I'm watching him, but whenever I'm not watching him, he'll just destroy everything. Well, I'll just unhook it and hook that in. So that's it, only five mile. This is 75 mile. Yeah, that's, we're getting a little bit of an upgrade, ain't we? This one's also 0 0.1 joules. And that one's four. Hurt. All I gotta say is listen up, Chip. You better not walk out of the fence this time. Chad's about to have a rude awakening, son. He'll zap him and his fur will catch on fire. Guess how much it costed, though, for real? 100 bucks. 170. I tell you what, if it can't keep in a camel, then I don't know what will. This thing's got a moose on it. The last one said it could keep in a horse, but this one even has a, that's a reindeer, dude. That's crazy. <laughs> I tell you what I'm actually gonna think about doing with this. Since there's no way I can, like, take it back, I think I'm just gonna sell it on Kendall Gray one of the shop. That'd be kind of cool. It's a good box as long as you ain't got something like Chad defying the laws of physics. Hey, right, it'll keep you little brothers and sisters in. Where are we gonna plug it in at? I didn't think about that. Chad's gonna find that in about 0.5 and he's gonna unplug that box. Well, I'll be honest, a lot of people think that Chad is like overrated, but he's kinda underrated, dude. They don't know that he's built like a tank. M1 Abrams, dude. I've not met Chad, so we'll have to see. You're gonna have a rude awakening. Tell him to put the gloves on. You gonna box him? Yeah, I'll box him. Ain't you ever seen kangaroo boxing? Yeah, but you're not... Chad's a goat. I tell you what, this is gonna be a rough fence right here. We're gonna hear stuff squealing all night. <laughs> Are you gonna have a chicken? Like, might as well open up KFC right there. It's gonna fry them chickens. I don't know what it'll do. It'll fry me too whenever I'm getting too lazy and not stepping over the fence high enough. <laughs> or whenever Adam comes in here and doesn't know that I got a new box. For one, this couldn't have been in a worse spot. It's on the steepest hill in the, on the whole mountain. I put it here because it used to be a solar box, but now it's not solar anymore, so it doesn't need to be here. But I've already got like a 10 foot ground rod, so I shrink pulling that up. Is that just like put into the the ground that's just put into the ground i should have filmed the day i put it in dude it is mass it's literally like eight feet what we got to do now is figure out how to rig up some kind of box also another thing that we plan on doing today is like a geocache thing i don't know it's like an app where people can like put treasure and you go find it and stuff it's gonna be pretty cool hopefully i gotta find a bucket so to make it rain proof all right ethan come meet chad for your first time come get your hand full of corn Oh gosh, yeah. He'll eat it out of your toes if you want him to. He's a unicorn. Some people said unicorns physically cannot exist. I beg to differ. His name's Chad, buddy. He's my favorite goat. What you doing, Chadwick? Just throw it at him. He'll eat it. <laughs> it bounces off. He's got armor. Look. He's made of rubber. He's got the beard game going on. He kind of reminds me of the guy in Harry Potter. Double door. Mr. T. Okay, so here's one thing that I didn't tell y'all. This a box under here, the new box, is not waterproof. The other one was waterproof because it's solar power. This one's not. So what I had to do is just cut a hole in a bucket, run it down in there to where, well, now there's a bucket covering it. That right there is what it looks like inside. Here we go. After I hook this up, it should be deadly. Just listen to this. Every time it clicks, it's sending four jewels all around the fence. And you need at least one jewel to cut through really tall weeds. And we got four. We'll test it right here. Basically, for the redneck tester, we're just uh, seeing if it makes sparks. And it definitely will, so. Kind of scared. Can't go through plastic, though, can it? <laughs> we're going to find out. Oh, my gosh. Okay, that's kind of sketchy. I mean, they're just goats, but they also need to stay in the fence. Pepperoni a few days ago, I saw him out here running around. Dude, that's scary. I didn't think it'd pop like that. I didn't either. Let's see. It's 40... 
40 times stronger than that box. So one thing I do want to say real quick is that this new box, it's not like actually deadly. Like it's just more powerful than the last. The biggest reason I got it was so that I didn't have to go out there and weed eat the grass under the fence like every two weeks. And no, it doesn't actually cook my chickens. But if it did, that'd be cool. What are we heading on to now? Geocache number one. So like I mentioned earlier, we're going to do this thing called Geocache whatever. This is definitely not sponsored by them. But I'll show you a little bit about what it is before we actually try to go do it. It's basically this app and it has a bunch of locations and random people go put random things there and random people try to go find those things. We're going to go try to find a few, but we're also going to put one out because why not? And I have something that I kind of want rid of. I'll let you get in it. Open the door. Some of the gray gangsters know what it is. Some of them probably don't. Just go ahead and open it up. You can get on up in the stairs. Should be pretty simple. I can already smell it. It smells like skunk bait. There she blows. Dude, that's awful. <coughs> that's awful, man. We're going to do it or not? Yeah. That's six ounces of pure skunk acid. I took it right out of a skunk's butt. Roll the clip. Dude, it's bad. It's bad. My eyes burn. You think it'll fit in this? I don't reckon it will. We make it fit. We done that two years ago. It's been in there fermenting, okay? It's the purest substance on earth. That's why there ain't no mice in here. There's a dead one right there. There's a dead mouse right here. It's like actually a mouse. Here's a skull. Whenever we told you that that skunk spray is literally toxic, this guy got about, what, four feet from it and died. That's one of the creepiest things I've ever seen. That's the things that That's we're dealing with. even running from it. I'm sending back. Be careful. You don't want skunk juice on you. This is what they run nuclear power generators with. That's so bad. Don't you have gloves? Yeah, that's a good idea. This is going to be a geocache for the ages, huh? Kendall Gray is going to be the reason geocaching is banned. You know what's bad? I literally told you about it last night. <laughs> oh. Do you want to see the actual substance? It's not been seen in over two years. Ready? That's some rough stuff, bro. <laughs> I don't want nothing to do who, with it. I mean, whoever finds it, it's not like they're going unrewarded. They have access to a nuclear weapon now. So it's worth something to somebody. I bet the FBI is watching this video right now. The ATF is going to deem that. A destructive device? It's a bioweapon right there. I'm literally crying right now. It's bad. I don't know if they believe us. That's the bad part. Dude, if the chickens stay away from it, it's bad. I'm sorry. Hey, if, if, any, if any of you guys find it, which I suggest not looking for it, I'm sorry, man. And All right, Ethan, let's roll. You're in a, you're in containment. I ain't containing it. You're, you're, you're containment it. officer, dude. You gotta make sure that thing don't get loose. Just set it there in the floorboard. We gotta make sure it don't get out. This is like Avengers level stuff, no bro. No one's gonna steal that. This may or may not have been one of the worst ideas I've ever had, but then again, what else you gonna do in a 105 degree summer day in Kentucky? I think nothing. There's nothing else you can do, but since I watch Flair's videos all day, I think the first plan of attack Figure out which one we're going for because we're also going to go for some as well as set one out. There's two of them local because I live in the middle of nowhere. Here's what it says. You are looking for a 35 millimeter film canister. So BYOB. I don't even know what that means. Bring your own pen. You write your name once you find it. Oh. It was placed there on 2006 and people still finding it to 2020. I don't know. Here we go. First, we'll go look for that lap, that that one we just looked at. Then after that, we'll go plant our own. Okay, so we've currently approached the vicinity. Apparently, there's supposed to be a pull-off somewhere here, and it should be about 15 feet from it. We're looking for a 35 millimeter canister. 35 millimeters, only three centimeters. A bunch of people said that they didn't find it. I don't think we can do much better. The recent one said they didn't find it, and one guy said he found it, but it was buried. Should be somewhere in the area, a 35 millimeter something. I don't know if it's hanging from a tree or on a box or what should be right around there yeah, if you see a rattlesnake i'm sure that'll count i'm gonna walk out here and see what's over here we may find a good fishing spot thorns other than that i ain't seen nothing yet he found something i don't think we found the film canister but we definitely just found an underground bunker we definitely just found an underground bunker do you see that but if, like it talks about this road. This is sketchy. I don't know something's living in here because there's a there's a good worn out trail right in here. What is even in there? Okay, well, looks like to me there's actually nothing in here. So maybe you got a flashlight? No. I mean, I guess if they's dropping bombs, I'd come here. But besides that, I guess it's a cool spot to get out of the rain. I don't know. One way or another, I don't think we found it. Imagine if it would have like had a tunnel in there, at least, or something like that. I don't know the answer. We don't know there's not. That's a good point. All right, guys. So um, uh, I think we may have found something we're not really supposed to. And uh, now we gotta go. We're gonna turn left. We gotta do the boot scoot and buggy out of here. We're gonna turn left and hope they go right. We're gonna find that right here. 
Maybe they'll catch the guy in the van. And I think we're free. Location number two. Let's see if this one's a dud as well. So this one says, you will be looking for a small key holder. Do they mean a keychain? This one was supposedly found yesterday. So that means it hopefully should still be here. Is that it? No, it's a, it's a tar tread. Oh, well, that ain't it. This is our last chance, son. If we don't see anything here, we're probably just gonna go and set our own. Do you see a key holder? Oh, yeah. I don't know about it. Okay, guys, after the last place was a complete dud, we decided we're just gonna go ahead and plant our own. And we're actually gonna plant it right here in the mysterious bunker that the army ran us out of. They technically didn't run us out because they didn't have time to say anything. I'm gonna put the location here. I'm gonna say it's in a bunker. Don't open it too fast. I'm gonna say if you're a snowflake, Please don't open. Anyways, right now it doesn't stink. It doesn't smell at all. I don't, okay, yeah, it does. My bad. All looks good. All looks good. I'm not going to make it hard. I'm just going to set it right here. Should be out of the rain there. And we're done. I'll tell you what, guys. Before this video is over, I'm not quitting until I find a real one. Okay, guys, it's actually the next day. Here's what's happening. So last night I got serious, okay? I started thinking. I was like, hold up, Kendall. Do you realize what you just did? You planted a bioweapon and posted it on YouTube for thousands, hundreds of thousands, possibly even trillions of people to see. What if the commies find this thing? They could wipe out the entire eastern seaboard. I mean, y'all saw the army trucks coming after us. I mean, they really weren't coming after us. They just hauling dirt. Anyways, long story short, guys, we're retrieving what we uh, set out. And hopefully there's not a dude in here because I'm sure there has been. Hey, anybody in there? Okay, good. So anyways, this is the bunker. I came back to take a little bit better look. I don't think there's anyone in there. And this is still here. So we're just going to take this back. Oh, gosh, dude, it stinks. I've done an absolute terrible job at concealing this thing. I'm going to toss it back there. If it gets shaken up, I don't know. What's it going to do, blow up? <laughs> Still just as toxic as yesterday. That could have been really bad though, and y'all know it. Plus, whenever I got home to like actually log it into the app, in order to do an official geocache or whatever, it had to be verified. And I can tell you right now, ain't no caring gonna verify skunk spray as a geocache. So yeah, kind of shot that idea down. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna head back to the house. I gotta do something with this. Okay, camera, what you doing here? You gonna chill? I bet. Brother, back. It's the army again. Maybe National Guard, but I think it's the Army. Yeah, dude, they're just chilling. They're everywhere. The reason that they're out here, because there's actually... I ain't gonna tell y'all the reason, actually. You know, after I've thought about it a few times, we had it in that trailer, and I really didn't like it. But honestly, I kind of enjoy having the asset. It's kind of there whenever you need it. It's not like you have to feed it anything, or it can't die. I mean, it can kill, but it can't die. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to secure it up a little bit better with more tape. And I'm just going to store it back in that building. And hopefully no one goes in there and finds it. Because if they do, they could do some serious damage with it, I guess. There we go. Now we'll just shut it. As long as I got my suit and tie. Anyways, all the guineas are dead. They just get us out here. Yep, they're dead. A what got in there? I don't know. That's what I'm trying to figure out. What are you thinking? I'm thinking what in the world could done that? 